Hey guys, what's happening? So, yesterday I actually did my first aluminum cut, and while I was doing that, this thing was making some horrible racket. Some crazy vibrations. It was even actually making the uh, bit chatter. So, um, I kind of narrowed it down to what it seemed like these uh, linear rods here, the uh, Z axis linear rods. So, what's weird is when I push on them, uh, it, it actually makes it quieter. So, let me, let me show you that. I'll give you a demonstration real fast. I'm going to turn this on. So that could be, um, I mean, some of my body absorbing the actual uh, the vibrations, but what I noticed on this, uh, the Z-axis, it's an all aluminum 38C. It's the higher end uh, 3018, like the 3 hair R one. Um, yeah, it's actually much better built, but there's definitely some annoyances. So one thing I noticed on the top is it's only attached to the bottom. There's actually like a, like a probably think it's like M4 screw at the bottom. And that's the only place that this thing is connected to it, then it's held down. I can't tell until I take this stepper motor off, but it looks like it's just sitting inside these uh, these holes. And that's actually what's keeping it, in, it I mean, I can't feel it vib vibrating in my hand. You know, it, it might be very minute, but I'm not sure. But, so I got some M4, M, or M4 um, set screws that I'm, I'm gonna drill some holes on the side and see if I can lock these top linear rods in place. See if that will actually improve it, help it, you know? I'm not sure. But like I said, what I'm actually doing, I'm only touching these linear rods. I'm trying to make these more stable, the linear rods. And that's actually what's making it a lot more quiet. I guess, um, ideally, I mean, it would be nice to be able to take this whole thing off and bring it over to my drill press and, and drill it, but, I mean, that's giving me a headache. So what I might try to do is just take this top Z stepper motor off and then just hope I can get my drill in there and just drill it manually. It's probably not going to be perfectly straight, but all I have to do is lock in that rod or just at least take a look at it and see like what the hell, like what the deal is. Right, sorry for the background noise. Putting out a new uh, extruder system. Alright, so as you can see, this thing is, there's no, on the top it's just free floating. So what I'm going to try to do is get that, that set screw to pin that against the wall this way. So there's zero vibration, you know, back and forth, you know. So I have a little metric fine thread kit. Get these pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, I also do actually have one of like the little short Makita drills, so that's gonna help me get in there. So I'm just gonna drill it out for M4, and then go back and tap it. All right. So using a little marking tool, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm just because I'm just eyeballing it here. All right. So I couldn't get my tap uh, bar in there. So what I did, I just hooked up my drill and I went real slow. Uh, all right, well, so like with any sort of CNC 3D printer, you should Loctite everything. I mean, it's even worse with the CNC with all the vibrations, but use the blue Loctite because the red stuff will you'll never get the, the, the nut out. So, all right, so I started, decided to go with a larger set screw. Yeah, I just couldn't get enough grip with that little smaller M4. Here, yeah, I got the set screws in, some Loctite. This thing can go. Well, I definitely think it sounds better. Not as much rattling. It definitely has improved. But, I mean, this thing's never going to be perfect because you're using linear rods. You should be using linear rails. That's actually what I want. Maybe if I put a spring up there, this might help. Alright, cool.